This will be a quick one. So you're supposed to take it from a trig form, which is what I have written here, and make it into standard form. And basically, you guys, it's all you're doing is you're doing the math it says to do. Okay, so it says the cosine of negative pi over 3. Well, negative pi over 3 is starting the x-axis and going down, so that's going to be right here. Okay, the x value is short, that's going to be 1 half. The y value is long, that's negative root 3 over 2. Okay, now cosine is the x value, so now we have the square root of 8 times the x value is 1 half plus i, and then takes the sine of the same angle. So the sine is the y value, so that's negative root 3 over 2. Okay, and then our job is to take and multiply through by um, the square root of 8, which by the way, the square root of 8 is 2 square roots of 2, right? So I need to take that and multiply it through. So now I have 2 square roots of 2 times 1 half plus i times 2 square roots of 2 times negative square root of 3 over 2. So the 2's cancel on this first fraction. So now I have the square root of 2 plus, and then the 2's cancel here, and I have the square root of 2 times negative square root of 3. And so when I do that, I get a negative square root of 6 i. So if I want to simplify it, it's the square root of 2 minus the square root of 6i. And that's my answer. So again, is all we did was we did the math. We figured out what this was. We figured out what this was there right here. I took this number in front. I multiplied it through. So I multiplied it times both of them. And then we just did whatever simplification you can do, and you wrote it in standard form. And that's it. That's just um, writing in standard form from the trig form. So it's not actually all that bad in this case.